Well, here is yet another another story showing the kind of fruits that come out of Islam. I've shown in the past, in the past in many many other videos that the fruit that comes out of Islam uh, is bloodshed, murder, and violence. It's that plain and simple because Islam is satanic, just like their mama Rome, because Rome is the mom of Islam. Uh, the Illuminati Jesuitical system is what controls the Muslims. Okay, and there may be some, you know, for example, groups like ISIS. I put it that way. Groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda are Jesuitical Illuminati controlled. But that's a whole other subject in and of itself. But in this case, you have Muslims again displaying the same kind of bloodthirsty mentality that the Papists had all throughout the Dark Ages. It says here on JihadWatch.org, just before the historic church, just before historic church reopens, a mob of 50 Muslims attacks Christian family. So we have these Muslims showing the same spirit that the, the Papists had, the Jesuits had during the Middle Ages and the Dark Ages. So it says here, uh, they threatened us, saying that they would not let us live in the village, but we are not afraid we will continue to stay there. In the same story, the, in the same story, the world over, in so many different contexts, yet the in, international authorities uh, resolutely fail to see this common trend. Historical church in major in Turkey marred by attack on Christian family, and this is on this is published on June 13, 2022. A Christian family were attacked in a village in the Madrin, Mardin province, southeastern Turkey, shortly before a church service on Sunday, June 5th. Yeah, because one thing that the Papists, the Muslims, the Jews, the Hindus, all of them have in common, uh, the pagans, all of them have in common, is that they're all against uh, religion and state separation, and also they all, they're all kingdom builders. You see that the pagans, the Muslims, the Jews, the Hindus, the, the uh, Papists, all of them go in the same category together. They're all uh, kingdom builders, which leads them to be bloody killers because like I said kingdom builders are bloody killers and yes that is meant to rhyme by the way too but it says here uh, the service in Mor Gevergis uh, a Syrian church uh, was first held in the building almost a hundred years after after renovation work but which began in 2015 the Yel, Yel, Yelzmez I hope I'm saying that right uh, Yuzma's family, the only Assyrian family who lived in the village, were attacked in their home by a group of around 50 Muslims. The family were at the time entertaining visiting clergy who had come to officiate officiate at the service. The attackers were led by a Muslim family of whom the Yilmaz family had a long-standing long dispute over land. The, mo the mob attacked the home with, st with stones, sticks, and other weapons. Then they then set fire to wheat uh, being grown by the family. None of the family were injured and the fire was eventually extinguished after a witness alerted the police. So, basically, uh, they oh it was a dispute over land. Really, it's just simply Muslims being true to their their demonic blasphemous rabble known as the Quran, because the Quran is a book of blasphemy. It's it's a satanic hokey po hokey pokey type rabble. Uh, it's a hocus pocus rabble that was created by under under the influence of devil spirits. I'll put it that way, uh, and it is it is a just like the Talmud, just like the Jewish Talmud. It blasphemes Jesus Christ uh, all throughout the thing. It's a, it curses Christians for believing that Jesus Christ is God's son. So it's just simply Muslims doing what Muslims do best, being true to their holy book. See, like I said, the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims, plain and simple. And what does Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 say? They're wild men. That's simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.